I'm amazed at how the uh, media blitz about DWIs is just influencing the way that jurors think. It influences the way that police officers think. It influences the way that judges think. We hear that if to drive buzzed is drunk driving. We hear uh, drink, drive, go to jail. We hear um, over the limit, you know, you're going to jail. But nobody's giving a media blitz about your constitutional rights. Nobody's telling you about uh, DWI tests that are designed to make you lose your balance, fail, and go to jail. Nobody's talking about the fact that police officers begin investigating you for a DWI just because they smell the odor of beer on your breath. Yet they don't give you your constitutional rights. They don't let you call a lawyer. They don't let you stop the interview. They'll keep asking you questions on and on and on. And either you'll make, uh, you'll give a response to their questions, which tends to incriminate you because of the way the questions are formed, or else they'll say your lack of cooperation shows you're intoxicated. It's a no win situation. That's why I advise people don't take the test. Don't answer questions about where you've been, what you had to drink, where you're going. To tell you the truth, it's nobody's business in this country where I've been, where I'm going, or whether or not I've had a couple of uh, alcoholic beverages. It just doesn't make sense to cooperate with someone whose sole intent is to take you to jail. If you're not intoxicated, then what have you got to worry about? Don't give him any evidence that would suggest that you have intoxication about you. Just tell the officer, am I free to go? If he says no, what does that tell you? He's trying to make a case against you. If a police officer pulls you over for a traffic violation and he doesn't start writing you a ticket right away, something else is on his mind. Police officers make a lot of money in overtime on DWI cases. You see, they work nights, they make a ton of DWI arrest, but wins court. Court's in the daytime. So they have to go to court in the daytime, and every time they show up for court, they're getting time and a half, and they're getting it for a set amount of time that they don't even have to work. If they show up for court, they get three hours pay, even if they go home after five minutes. So, uh, I've, I've, and there's a lot of political pressure on the police officers, too, to make DWI arrest. There's a lot of pressure from the brass and the chief of police to make DWI arrest. In San Antonio, the chief of police said, if you drink and drive, you should go to jail. Well, that's an order to his troops. So in a hypothetical, I'm a police officer. I pull you over. I smell beer on your breath. And if I arrest you, I just might make my boat payment this month. But if I don't arrest you and you go down the street and get involved in a collision... There's a record that I stopped you and I let you go. I might get sued. So there's no, there's no incentive for a police officers to let you go.